Hello. You need the other one as well. As well? Oh, sorry about the delay, and um, thanks for coming to ThoughtWorks. Um, so tonight is about um, the latest edition of the ThoughtWorks Technology Radar. So just want to have a show of hand, how many of you have heard of the Tech Radar? Okay, it's quite a number of people. Um, so I'm going to give you a brief introduction of what this is really about. Um, the technology radar started as an experiment by ThoughtWorks. Um, it is really our collective opinions on some of the technologies that we have used in our projects, um, and things that we like, things that we don't like. And after a while, it has become a project on its own, and um, people now started paying attention to these things. And about every six months or so, we do a community event like this to talk about what we have learned in the last couple of, uh, couple of months, in the last half a year. So it's put together by the Technology Advisory Board of ThoughtWorks. Um, it's about 20 or so senior technologies coming together in a face-to-face -face meeting. Um, how many of you are using Agile methodology in your workplace? Quite a lot of you. So you would be very familiar with um, sticky stickies on the wall. <laughs> um, so they consume a lot of stickies and there's a lot of um, very heated debate about is something really a platform or is it um, a tool or is it a framework? Do we like it? Do we have enough experience? And they, there's only enough um, space for a small handful of blips on the radar. Um, so there's a, there's a heated discussion about what blips we keep and what blips we call and what is the message we're sending to the developer community. So that is the um, tap face-to-face -face meeting. Um, you may or may not see people like familiar faces. Um, so you, on the tab, you have um, famous people like Martin Fowler, Jim Highsmith, um, Rebecca Parson, and so on. But there's also a lot of um, representatives from the different countries. So this is really about our um, opinion and project experience. It's called a radar because we saw the metaphor of a real radar. Um, and the structure is a series of rings and also the four quadrants. So the quadrants are techniques, tools, platforms, programming languages, and frameworks. As I said, it's not always clear where certain things are. Um, sometimes it's really about opinions. And because these are our opinions, these are our actual experience on the project, there's no such thing as, how can I get my library onto your tech radar? It doesn't work that way. Um, so if you want to get your um, product or you want to get your libraries onto the radar, well, then put it on GitHub, share, and we'll use it, and we'll find out, and maybe we'll put it on the radar someday. Um, so within the radar, you have the different rings, um, typically, a blip starts from the access ring. That is when some of us may look at a library and we have some good experience. Um, we play a, little, uh, play a little bit around with the library and we use it um, in the early stage of a project. And we say, yeah, that seems quite interesting. Let's put it here. As we gain more experience, we start to use it in a few more places, in a different context, and we start to move the blip into the trial ring. That is when we start telling teams, telling companies that um, this is an interesting technology. You may or may not like it. It may not be applicable in your environment, but this is something that we think you should pay attention and have a trial. The innermost ring is the adopt ring, and that is when we have used these things so many times in so many different contexts that we think you really should use it. This is your default choice of doing things. Um, so we have an internal rule, uh, an in-joke, that, um, that says if you don't use this technology in your project, we're going to laugh at you in the pub, in your face. Because these are technologies that we think are really applicable. 
Conversely, on the outermost ring, we have the hold ring. Um, these are some of the anti patterns that we see in some of the environments that we work with. And we just want to let people know that if you do these things, it comes with certain cost. It doesn't mean it is always wrong. It just means that from our experience, we have suffered. And we know that if you do certain things differently, you get better outcomes. Um, just like a real radar, um, blips fade after a while when there's no activity. So if you have a library that you like, you, you may be wondering, why isn't closure on the radar? It's because it has been there for several years already, um, and it faded to make room for new blips. Along with each edition of the radar, there are several themes as well. Um, so in this current radar, one of the themes is conversational UI and natural language processing, which is um, an area that we have quite a bit of experience in the Thor Singapore office here. And that is what we're going to focus tonight. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to my colleague to talk about um, conversational UI and NLP. Thank you.